Yes, Dance, Lana Whiskey Jack Nitsika son on its Gopone Cotinia, Egua, Eotoskeano Tapas Negio. So, my name is Lana Whiskey Jack, I'm from Sad Lake Cree Nation, and I'm a visual storyteller or art actionist, as I've been called by one of my mentors. So, welcome to my studio. Yes, so We Are the Medicine is based on my exploration of Nehiao, um, the Cree 13 moon calendar. Of course, um, you know, we're, we're ruled right now by the timing of a Gregorian t calendar, the 12 months. But with Cree, I really wanted to look at the, at, um, you know, what were our roles and responsibilities in each season? What, what did our grandmother moon teach us, especially as womb? those who have wombs and um, and exploring that as well as looking at the diverse genders and sexualities based on those who have wombs so um, so I have different um, uh, exploring womanhood within the 13 moons uh, uh, teachings and so I focus on um, looking at women as courageous incredible powerful matriarchs so that's an important part of of, of the show is really really looking at matriarchy from our our nehyo mumpte mumpte again our, our Cree mind because we've been disconnected from our wombs since colonization so this is my way of of, of reclaiming that and and just really looking at those important roles that this world needs right now, being the medicine this world needs right now. Um, I start with um, being in ceremony. So I actually started this series with a pipe um, offering protocols to my, uh, my rock, my auntie, my little mother. Um, and we started in a pipe ceremony and I invited um, some two spirits and women to come together to help uh, contribute in some way and their prayers to to this work. But I mean, I've always done, I've always worked from this three generations perspective of, you know, uh, which is again that whole belly button connections that I've um, always tried to honor through my work, especially when I started seriously painting during my doctorate. And looking at intergenerational trauma, and looking at you know <clears throat> how as women, when we carry an egg, like how our eggs were actually developed in our grandmother's bodies, and so when we're when I'm when I'm thinking about you know we are the medicine, we inherit not only the trauma but the the strength and the wisdom of all the wombs we come from, and and so and then how much how how do I want to use my medicine to pass on to my future generations? I'm, I'm a young grandmother. I have a granddaughter and, and you know, maybe one day she'll be a mother and I'll be a great grandmother and what an incredible gift that will be to, uh, to love and nurture the future and, and wanting to make sure I'm giving the medicine that is going to continue to help um, our, indigenous, our indigenous nations. Um, but also have, um, you know, reminding, reminding our women that, um, that they have the medicine within. Like we can't continue giving our medicine away to others. We need to really honor it and uh, honor our medicine. And I, when I say medicine, it's almost like a, it's a noun, it's a verb. It's an adjective, um, and there's medicines that harm and that medicines that help. So I want to always make sure that I'm uh, using medicines that help. So the biggest thing of that I loved about working on this series, like the, this, was probably the most intense learning, um, like whole body learning series I've done because I've done ser um, a series on intergenerational trauma and that was that was really depressing work <laughs> and I learned a lot 
but um, it, just to get me over, you know, dealing with my unresolved childhood trauma stuff that came from Indian residential schools, the impacts of it, right, on the wombs I come from. So this series is actually teaching me how to be uh, um, a better human being in, in the sense of being a better Cree person, a better, like Nehio, but more importantly, how to be a more powerful Esquel. And, and so the, my favorite part is like just painting um, these matriarchs who are teaching me so much, like through just the act of creating. I'm like, and, and I dreamt that. I, I dreamt that when I was starting this series, I had visits from my matriarch, my grandmothers, and who encouraged me to do this work, and they told me how to do it. So they're like, when you're in your studio, drink water or tea and just paint. What they told me in my dreams, they provided while I was doing this work. So the wisdom, because I'm like, I don't know how to do it. I don't know anything about Cree calendar teaching worldview. They're like, just do it and do it this way. Don't forget to smudge and take care of yourself and all of that. And then the teachings will come. And that's, that's exactly what happened. So that's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> when I started this series, because I wanted to explore this word that I learned from another one of my my uh, fashionistas, mentors, and aunties, um, who's Nehio, a Cree woman from Kihiwen, um, she talked about this word of wawiasu, and it's, it means presenting your best self. And so having, you know, so when I was thinking about presenting your best self, I had this image of these series of works of wanting to have um, women in there presenting the, their best self, like, you know, from um, these places of, of, again, like standing in your element of power and sacredness and beauty. I have the responsibility to, as a mother, to make sure that my children are are loved and taken care of. And as an academic, as an artist, um, using those platforms to also create change. So my my brown children, diverse children, because I'm a mother to a daughter and two sons, and one son has a womb. And so wanting to um, acknowledge, I had to learn about our from our indigenous worldview about the diverse genders that we had and from our Cree worldview I've learned from my uncle Jerry and Auntie Joanne Saddleback that we Cree people had eight genders and so wanting to um, acknowledge those those genders as well and the how we need to um, welcome them back into our, our families and our communities because again they bring medicines in a whole different way of, of thinking and interacting and, and being in good relations with one another and, and to the land and to you know the cosmic and every all the living beings in between. And so having um, you know uh, looking there's there's a few paintings where you're like is this what is this a woman? Um, or there's a painting where are these two women together or are they sisters or you know looking at the different relationships that are important but based on love and based on on our traditional teachings on courage and honesty and and uh, strength and so um, yeah I just like again like when we're looking at being the medicine we have to we we have to be good relatives, and being a good relative means being um, open and kind and accepting of our, our relatives who bring beautiful medicine to help teach us to be better human beings. You know, even though my, my work is so female-centered, um, it's really important to also acknowledge the our men need to be in those spaces and um, they need to learn this in order for uh, you know in order for us to return back to the the time where the women were 
the s centered families and nations with their, their loving kindness. Um, the men also carried a lot of that when they were connected to the, their matrix, to their wives, to their grandmothers, to their, to their uh, mothers. And so men need to learn how to be better men through the love and warmth and wisdom and strength of the woman. And so um, a lot of these paintings, you know, are my prayers for men to be in that place of <clears throat> taking care and providing and protecting us so we can continue to do the work of restoring balance. Hmm, uh, oh yeah, they're gonna be looking at this too. I hope, I hope they, their soul is fed by these matrix. I hope they feel like when they're coming into the show that they're visiting some incredible indigenous women and beings. And I hope that they want to be better human beings. I hope they want to be better treaty relatives. I hope they want to um, continue learning about this land through the guidance and wisdom of our indigenous people. I mean, there's like, I guess it's a lot of hopes, <laughs> right? But I mainly uh, world peace, you know, um, don't be racist, <laughs> those bigger things. Um, yeah, and just be, uh, I, you know, help lift indigenous people's truths, like believe, acknowledge, listen, learn. Um, and then, and then have conversations. So, you know, if, we could, if I could just like spark one little thing from the show, it'd be just listen, learn. Um, not listen, of course, with your ears. Listen with your eyes and your heart and your mind. And if you have a womb, listen with your womb. That's a pretty important brain we carry. Um, and uh, and have a conversation. Mm -hmm.